This is 2510 West Doublegate. Kind of give a little pan at the outside here. This is one of Doublegate's most beloved homes. Take a look inside. Here we are in the front entryway. You'll immediately notice this beautiful hand carved staircase. This home was designed by John Popwell. It was a custom built home. And then look at that immediate view all the way through to the golf course. To our right, we've got the dining room here. Immediately notice the tall ceilings, about 10 foot ceilings, I believe. Lots of nat natural light. Beautiful details above the windows and doorways. We've got gorgeous heart pine floors. Looking back towards the foyer there. This is a study off the master side of the home. So you have one bedroom downstairs and then you have three additional bedrooms upstairs, two full baths upstairs and a bonus space. Your fireplace has a marble surround gas starter. This little entryway, again, just wanna notate the details here. Um, coming into the kitchen area, you've got a little beverage center there. And then you've got a nice big breakfast area and looking back towards the kitchen. Kitchen, you've got beautiful subway tile backsplash, display cabinetry, the, pad the cabinets have been updated with beautiful um, kind of a white gray finish, double ovens there. You've got a gas range, built-in microwave. And here's a look at the island here. The heart pine countertop there. Going back to the kitchen breakfast area. Your pantry space, there's not really pantry space in the kitchen, but there is additional space here in the laundry room. You've got lots of cabinets here, a sink. And then there is, like I said, additional space for food in the uh, laundry space if you needed it. Next, we're gonna head toward the great room. You've got matching closets um, on either side. The second one has been made into a wet bar. This is a step down here. Um, there is no railing on, on the sides here, but um, this is a step down, so you have the um, Mexican tile on the floor in the kitchen, and then this is a smaller version of that same tile in a herringbone design. Again, look at the archways. This light does not stay. We've got built-ins on either side of the fireplace, another wood-burning fireplace with a gas starter. Looking back towards the front door there, and then a few out into the backyard. Got a beautiful wet bar with an ice maker here. You've got lots of display cabinetry and wine storage. Then further down the hallway, there's also these great little alcoves for display. They do have um, lights on either side of the great room entryway. And then coming in, there's another coat closet here and then your half bath for guests on the right. Nice custom mirror there and a pretty window. Now, coming over to the master suite side of the home, you've got um, the master over here with an exterior door there. And then to our left is the study, which has beautiful painted paneling. They use it as an office currently. The previous owner used it as kind of their den, little um, private sanctuary of sorts. So these doors close off and it goes back to the foyer there. And there's room for a TV in there or a computer. Next, we're gonna see the master bedroom. There are three closets in the master and we'll see those next. So this is walk-in closet number one and then into the master bedroom. We've got a large master bedroom with a tray ceiling, beautiful light. You've got three big windows here. And then you've got a walk-in closet. This one's a little bit bigger, so I maybe would call this one the hers. And this one, another walk-in there. And then there's another deep closet 
here they just kind of use for miscellaneous storage. Um, no racks in that one. And then into, this is a double door entryway into the master bathroom. You've got a her side vanity, or her, excuse me, her side with the, um, you've got the little makeup vanity station there and then additional sink and a large um, jacuzzi tub. Again, the ceiling height just makes home feel huge. And then you've got a nice big walk-in tiled shower. There is some additional storage for linen here on that side. Next, we're gonna head upstairs. All right, here we are at the top of the curved staircase here. Upstairs, you've got painted hardwood floors. Um, the floor plan is that this bedroom over to my left has a private bathroom. And then these two bedrooms on this side share a bathroom here, kind of a Jack and Jill style. This first bedroom is kind of like a little guest retreat. You've got closet space here on the left, or excuse me, right? And then a small walk-in attic there. This will be a great guest room. And then three to the Jack and Jill bath, single vanity here. The original hexagon tile floor, but it's in great shape. Tub shower combination here comes through. You can see the kind of little alcove um, storage here on both sides. And then you've got a second vanity here. Turn the light. And then into these bedrooms are almost mirror image sizes of each other. So you've got built-ins on both ends. And if you look back toward this other one, it's the same setup, but these rooms are huge. You've got plenty of room for a bed and a sitting area. Um, really nice and big there. And then you can see the walk-in closet here. And a little alcove. These can be like set up as little desk nooks. These are two storage closets here. And then this guest bedroom. And then you've got kind of the mirror image. That one had carpet. This one has the painted hardwood floors. Another nice size closet there. And another big bedroom with its own sitting space here. View back over the golf course. They both have kind of an accent wall done with some wallpaper details. And then this is the one with the private bathroom. You've got some updated lighting in here, a little bit larger vanity space. And then again, a tub shower combination as well as a um, linen closet here. They have um, updated some of the hardware as well. And then another little Eve storage. Also upstairs is the um, kind of bonus media room. Um, oh, and there was a light fixture that doesn't stay up here. This light fixture does not stay. Um, and then this light fixture also does not stay in this room. But this was originally like um, just a storage area. So they converted it into a media room. They painted the walls really dark kind of for a theater feel. But um, it does have the painted hardwood floors in here. And they added this kind of half wall to divide the space for two uses. Um, so it's just kind of a hangout lounge. And then you've got this cool little secret door here that goes through and then they turn this area into a workout space here. And it has a beautiful view of the golf course as well. And this little accent of wallpaper there. And that's another look at these painted hardwood floors. All right, here we are coming out the back uh, French doors and just wanted to give a view of the golf course side. There is a little outdoor shower here. This access goes back into the garage. This goes into the kitchen entryway. There's a look at the garage. We do have a small storage room over here, but it does fit two full cars. They um, added this fencing here as well as painted the exterior. We've got some established beautiful landscaping. And then this is just um, a storage house it could, could be converted to you know a little entertainment house but there's great parking at the circular drive in the front as well and you've got lots of good storage 
This is where the irrigation control is too. But you could put a window on the back side, maybe an outdoor kitchen. The possibilities are endless. Just a back look at the home here. Beautiful architectural details. get a good view of the back of the home here. One last look at the back, and then this is the entryway going into the master bedroom side. Big, expansive brick patio. And the clubhouse is just right through there.